All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my Friday Fright series where I take a look at interesting horror games that I found online recently and today, uh, as you can see by the uh, title up here, we're looking at Ghosts of Pandemonium, a dark Corners, which is a game made by Xenox Games in the Unity engine. Ah, good old Unity. Now, this one is a bit different from most Unity games I tend to play on this series, in that it didn't have the Windows launcher where you select your resolution and graphics quality and all of that sort of stuff. It actually does have an options menu in-game, so if we click there now takes us over here. Not a whole lot of options, but you have volume, mouse sensitivity, mouse inversion, which is nice for people who like that. I don't understand why people do, but hey, to each their own. And then you can choose between low, medium, or high, and your graphic settings. Now, I'm a little disappointed that there's not a few more things in graphics, and I'm also disappointed in the screen resolutions. I, I like to play games in 1600 by 900, and there is no option for this. And also, you gotta click individually. You gotta just click this over and over and over and over again to cycle through all the resolutions. It'd be nice if there was some sort of like selector or something along those lines, but something to note about this game, it is still early development. It is not a finished product yet, uh, but I, I like to look at some of these types of games when they are in their early stages. And if we head back, the big reason I was drawn to this one is it is a survival horror game in black and white. I don't know why, but I'm a sucker for things that are black and white and, and noir and stuff like that. So let's take a look at the controls real quick here. Uh, simple enough. WASD, shift to run, F to interact, and P to pause. And uh, with the controls in mind, let's start the game. All right. We're waking up, or being, oh no, no. No, we're we're being taken someplace. I thought we were waking up at first, but no. No, that's what usually what you see when you're on like a gurney or something in a uh, horror movie. Just the lights going, but oh, hello person. How are you? you? You're not gonna try and kill me, are you? Well, it didn't look like a ghost, and this is supposed to be Ghost of Pandemonium. Dark corners. Oh, oh, he's already saying bad words. Oh, my heat? I'm, I'm guessing my heart. Yes, my heart terribly hurts. Ooh, hands. I have hands. It's a rarity in many games. I like the addition. <gasps> I have feet. Oh, hey, we actually have a body. I've definitely got to give it to this. Oh, oh, I need antibiotic. Oh, a chair. That's probably not a good thing. Okay, so we need to find antibiotics. Oh, I like the lighting in this. And the... Oh, 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 God, we got a hand. <sighs> it's not my hand, is it? Hold on, hold on. No, I've got both hands. I can see them at the bottom. <laughs> All right. I like that we actually have a body. There's a lot of AAA games that don't even do that. Yeah, it even has, like, sidestepping, stuff like that. That is quite cool. Very well done. And that, that is disgusting. But man, the texturing and model quality on things is very nice. I am really liking the lighting. Though if you get, of course, too close. Can we get out of here? F. 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 No. All right, what am I, uh, do I need that hand? Nope. Don't see anything here. There's something in the chair. No. Barrels? No. Hmm. We've got a light haze going through everywhere. Oh, we got shadows too. Didn't notice that before. Very nice. I always like those sorts of touches. Though he said he needs antibiotics and that his heart hurts. But how do we how do we uh, get out of this place? Oh! Oh, I apparently just walked through. <laughs> okay, so I was looking at the door thinking that, but no, the uh, box is on the bars right there, it seems. There we go, we are, we are through there. Kind of an odd 
the harsh transition. Would have been nice to uh, actually open the doors. The FOV on this, I'm noticing, is very, very low. I didn't really notice it in there in that room, but now that we're in this hallway, ooh, ah, that's, that's a pretty low FOV. All right, well, hopefully it doesn't end up giving me a headache. Sprinting is not much faster than walking. Let's see, walk, 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 sprint, sprint, sprint. Why is that so dark in there? Let's not go that way. That looks like a bad way to go. Can we? No, we really can't make that stuff out. Did I miss anything on like these? Uh, no, no. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Clipping through some lights there. Perhaps move the shelf over uh, about a foot? That, that uh, might be nice. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, stay away from the darkness. Let's head over this way. Back to the sprinting. I'm liking the model quality. Textures are good. Good atmosphere. I'm loving the slight haze to things. Uh, I do wish the FOV was a bit m larger, but it is kind of giving me a cramped feeling in this hallway. And uh, Which actually, I, I am actually a little bit claustrophobic, and that actually kind of gets me. Oh, oh hey, stuff. Oh, is this the antibiotics we need? Yes, it is. Just stand right over them. All right. When the where are we? I don't know, but it's not good. Okay, look back at the crates again. And go through. Oh yeah, we could. Oh no, we could go in that one. Oh, I missed that. Oh wait, wait, it's not there anymore. I saw it for a split second. Ah, there we go. All right, we're in. Oh great, another hand. Oh, more hands. Lovely. Definitely very atmospheric. I like these slight fog to things. <laughs> it's going to be fun trying to figure out the uh, brightness and contrast on this video when I'm editing later. <laughs> so it's black and white, and there was no brightness slider, so it is it is quite dark for me. I will lighten it up quite a bit for you guys so you can see, but yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely very, very dark in here. Would be nice to have a brightness slider. So uh, I, I know again that's a, that's always a thing with horror games. You want it to be dark, but when you're trying to record, that's you want it to be brighter. <laughs> uh, but for playing, for playing, it is actually quite nice and atmospheric in the actual light levels. I'm not missing anything, am I? No, no, no. We look good. Hmm. Uh, woo! Hello, hello, Steam that just popped there. Gave me a little bit of a scare. Oh, we got a room. Hello? Hmm. Whoa! Okay, what was that? Well, I probably shouldn't go to where I just heard weird noises, but hey! It's a horror game. That's what you're supposed to do. I just actually saw the shadow out of the corner of my eye there, and it just kind of scared me. <laughs> oh... The downside of shadows in games. <laughs> False scares. It's like, oh god, what's that? Oh, it's me. Oh, yeah. Ooh, what's that? An eyeball. Lovely. Am I going through that? No, no, I'm not. Oh, I'm slightly going through the desk. But okay, we found some keys. Cool. Making good progress. I think. I honestly have no idea. But <laughs> I'm assuming so. We got out of our first cell, we found antibiotics, and we have a key now. Oh, grates are never good. Another chair. No hands in this room, though. Okay, which way do we go? Ah. Uh, well, definitely not this way. <laughs> Alright. So far, it's not uh, definitely not a jump scare game, which I prefer. I like the more atmospheric and psycho. Okay, <laughs> and the more psychological because they stick with you for longer and they get you a much better scare. Here we go. F. Okay, we're through. Alrighty. Where do we go now? Oh, hey, a map! Oh! Okay! Hello, thing that just crawled across the ground. <laughs> um, 
Can I go back to my cell? <laughs> I I think I preferred it there. Okay, what what in the world is this map supposed to be telling me? I'm assuming I'm there in the center. I really don't want to go around this corner. Uh, oh, it's all blocked off. How do you fit through there? Okay. Okay. This doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> uh, okay, so if we... I'm trying to think of how in the world that's actually supposed to show me what I'm doing, because this place is all hallways, but that map is rooms. Ha. Huh. Well, let's find out. Go for a few more minutes here. Don't want to spoil the whole game for you guys, because, hey, you should go and play this. Which, uh, of course, as always, link will be in the description, and it is free. I always try and find the free games for you guys if I can, because, hey, who doesn't love a free game? And... Ooh. Okay, can't go through there. Actually, let me try that again. Maybe it's just like with the other doors where I have to be, like, right up on it. Nope. Okay. Let's see here. There's a door over on my left. Another... F oh. Oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no screaming, please. <laughs> oh, and that's the door I was going to look at. Nope. Hey, I can't open the door. Yay. <laughs> All right. I'm guessing that's our door here. Ooh, a switch. That was like a good switch. Aha. What did that do? One out of five. Oh, God. Uh. Oh, hi. Oh, there's actually a person trying to chase me down. Well, now I know. <laughs> okay, I didn't think it was one of those kind of games where you got to find... Or maybe that's what triggers that person chasing you, because I really wasn't paying attention to anyone chasing me previously. I was... Quite uh, gingerly taking my time, but no, no, you d you do have to go and do things. So we have a retry and a quick. I'm guessing retry starts from the very beginning and quick. Let's click that real quick. Oh, that goes back to the start. So <laughs> retry will probably actually start your game again. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. Don't want to spoil too much of the game for you. I would definitely say go and check out this game. It's quite nice, very well made. That uh, monster at the very end that ended up getting me perhaps needs a little bit of work, because that was a... Uh, I mean, I didn't even know I was being chased by anyone. <laughs> so maybe a little warning on that, and perhaps not quite the very quick insta-kill on that one, because, well, again, I didn't even know I was being chased until it was way, way too late. But still, in this very early stage, I had a lot of fun with this little game. It is very cool, very atmospheric. The art assets are quite nice. The texturing's good, modeling's good. Uh, animation's a bit janky, but again, early stages. I'm sure those will be smoothed out in time. Uh, but yeah, once again, this is Ghost of Pandemonium Dark Corners by Xenox Games. And uh, it is, I, I would say, definitely worth a download. Go check it out once more. Link is in the description. And yeah, I think you guys might enjoy this game. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And, of course, that you come back for the next, where I will take a look at another horror game. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.